Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in today's video, let's compare the cameras on the Google Pixel XL with the ones on the OnePlus 3. Let's start with the hardware that we're dealing with. And let's now jump into the samples. And a good light, images shot with both cameras turned out great. The Pixel XL has an edge with color reproduction and dynamic range. Given the similar aperture, the depth of field also remains identical. Indoors, under artificial lights, the Excel grabs the lead. While there is some noise, it doesn't really affect the quality of the image and the software processing helps enhance the quality. Under low light though, while the images shot with the Pixel XL are considerably brighter, the noise levels get a little too high for my liking. But unlike with the S7 Edge and the iPhone 7 Plus as seen in our last two videos, OnePlus does not trust the optical image stabilization on the OnePlus 3 and expose longer. Here, let me explain. With the S7 or the iPhone 7 Plus, due to the presence of OIS, the camera exposes for a longer time under low light, usually a quarter of a second. This means light is being lit in for longer and the ISO doesn't have to be cranked up resulting in cleaner images, lower noise. Why can't the Pixel do the same? Since there's no OIS, the longer the exposure, higher the chance of the image getting blurred. But what's weird is that despite having OIS, the OnePlus 3 just like the Pixel XL that lacks OIS settles for 1 15th of a second exposure and cranks up the ISO instead. Given the smaller pixel size, the images appear much darker though the noise is lesser. You could call it either way here. Give this round to the Pixel XL due to the brighter images or the OnePlus 3 due to lesser noise. Neither is the optimal way to go. So what's your choice? Here's a poll, let me know. Anyway, moving on, both phones are capable of shooting 4K video and let's start with the autofocus. If you've watched my other Pixel camera comparisons, you know where I'm going with this. But if you haven't, the Pixel XL has a laser assist for autofocus and that helps only when the subject is at close range. So when you focus on something that's close, the Pixel XL is much faster to focus. But if you're focusing on something further away, the XL is slower. So there's not much between these two phones when it comes to focus speeds. So let's now move on to quality of the videos and that's quite good. The color reproduction and dynamic range are comparable. The stabilization is much smoother with the Pixel XL, but as I've pointed out in the past, software stabilization causes some jitter. Here, let me switch to full screen. Look at this pan in particular. Let's rewind. If you can see, the pan is much smoother with the OnePlus 3. With the heavy software stabilization on the Pixel XL, there is some noticeable jitter with movement. It's better visible when you crop in 100%. Anyway, the detail resolved is similar and despite the jitter, the stabilization is quite exceptional and I'm gonna have to give this one to the Pixel XL. So guys, this is being shot via the front facing cameras of both phones. The audio is also being captured via the internal microphones. So this is so far been on the OnePlus 3 and now the audio is I'm switching it over to the Pixel XL so hope you guys can notice a change and I'm gonna quickly cut into my voiceover and I'm also gonna check out the footages and let you know my thoughts. Here the Pixel XL has a wider angle lens but the OnePlus 3 does capture more details and reproduces better skin tones. The audio levels are also higher and stereo audio on the OnePlus 3 compared to mono on the XL means the OnePlus 3 takes this one. Next we get a selfies. Here the XL does have the larger field of view and captures more detail. So despite the better colors with the OnePlus 3, I'd end up going with the Pixel XL. So overall guys, I'm surprised by how competitive the OnePlus 3 was here. The camera on it is still good. The Pixel XL does manage to outperform it under a lot of scenarios. So if price wasn't an issue and you were looking to choose between these two based on the camera alone, then the Pixel XL should be the pick. 
But if price to performance ratio is what you're looking for, it's the OnePlus 3 all the way. Even months after release, it still offers excellent value. So that's it for this quick video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Vote it down if you didn't. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you do want to pick either a Pixel or a OnePlus 3 app, please use my affiliate links. You can find them in the description below. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ashio from C4 Retech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.